installing Burp Suite in Linux is fairly similar to installing in Windows. There's actually an installer program you can download to get it onto your system. Now to start with, recognize that Burp Suite needs to run on top of Java. It's a Java graphical program, so you're going to need the Java runtime environment. When you do the installation, make sure that you get the full Java runtime environment and not just the headless version. So for example, in our case, we would want to install the OpenJDK version 8 Java runtime environment. Now notice that in addition to the regular JRE, there's also a JRE headless option. This is for programs that are going to run on the command line, but since Burp is a graphical program, go ahead and get the full JRE. If you already have the headless installed, it's fine to install the JRE right over alongside of it. If you already have it installed, that's fine. And you'll, you'll notice that the package says that we already have the newest version. In our case, we're using Aptitude because this operating system is Ubuntu. If you're using a Red Hat-based system, then you would use Yum to install these programs. If your JRE is out of date, this same command will go ahead and update it. In any case, you're ready to install Burp Suite. So if we go out to the Burp Suite site, to the download page, you'll see a couple different choices. If we want to install the free edition, which has most of the software's features except for the scanner and the completely uncapped version of the intruder, we can just install Burp Suite Free Edition and whatever the latest version is. Click on the download for Linux. If you start with this page here and you want to install the free edition, just click on the download now link at the bottom of the column. In any case, you'll end up over here and you can click download for Linux. You go ahead and save this file. Notice that it's a shell script. After the shell script downloads, you're going to need to make it executable first before you're going to be able to run it. So we're going to do that step next. So once it finishes downloading, we'll go ahead and make this executable and then run the executable program. Notice that the executable actually contains a copy of Burp Suite. So once this step is complete, we're not going to need internet access anymore. While the download is taking part, you'll see that there's a .part file indicating that the download is partially complete. Once the download completes, we're going to kmod this file. You just say plus x or u plus x, and then the name of the file. Notice you can use tab complete to complete the long names. So now, if we list again, notice that the file name is turned green, indicating that it's executable. You can also do lslah to see more of the attributes, and you'll see that for the user that owns the file, which in this case is root, that the file is now executable. So we're going to go ahead and run the file. We did a dot indicating current directory slash in the name of the file. And then we're just going to hit enter. So Burp Suite will take a look and make sure that you have the JRE installed. So you can pitch, pick which directory you want to install it. You can leave it in loser, user local or you can put it in opt or really wherever it is you want. But by standard convention, the default location is a good location. Note the name of the folder is burp suite free. With a sim link inside of the user local bin, it'll be easier for you to run the software from the command line because user local bin will be in your path that'll contain a shortcut or a sim link over to the installation directory so that you don't have to type the full path to the software every time.
So we're going to stick with the defaults and let it do the installation. Now if we type in capital B U R and then tab complete, we can see that the sim link comes up and we can just hit enter to run the program. You may want to go ahead and put an ampersand at the end so that this program runs in the background. That way you can still use your bash terminal. So now when the software starts, you'll notice that your terminal returns back to you and you can still use it. Accept the license agreement. And if you want, you can go ahead and start a temporary project with the defaults just to make sure everything's working okay. And now you have Burp Suite installed on Linux and ready to use.